Hey, welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue with our part two of rendering in Photoshop. And where we last left off was creating our path and then using that path to stroke a line and then fill the shape, which is what we're looking at right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and begin with shading using um, our dodge and burn tools and let me show you those they're right over here in your toolbar and actually right now I have this little hand shape see how it's kind of got a little bit of a grasping shape that's a that's going to be our uh, our burn tool and if you double if you click on that and activate it you want to, there, you want to make a few adjustments okay and just while I'm making adjustments let me kind of explain to you what that's all about uh, the dodging and burning process uh, actually had its origins in photo retouching so when you had to go in and you had to photo retouch and you had to darken an area you would burn it and if you went to highlight area you would dodge on it so uh, we're going to use those same uh, tools and lighten and darken the shape uh, to create a form okay so let's get back to some of the adjustments so now that I'm I've got my uh, burn tool selected I need to adjust it so what you always want to do is when you get in the tool go ahead and click down to open up the adjustments it's right over here and you'll see a little preview of the brush and what you want to do whenever you're working uh, with Dodge and Bernie is you want to make sure that you're on this side of the brush uh, hardness. You want it to be pretty soft because what you don't want to do is kind of uh, use it like a like a hard pencil. You want to use it. You want to kind of creep up on things. And then if you want a really nice soft effect, like an airbrush effect, um, you want to open up that brush. Okay. It's always good to have a nice big brush when you're doing that, so that you can have a little bit of room to maneuver. And you also want it to be very soft. Okay. And I'll demonstrate this for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and have a large brush. Okay. But it's going to be very soft. Okay, so let's go ahead and give that a go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shade uh, these two sh uh, surfaces here. And you can already kind of tell with these one, two, three, four, five, six sides, it's going to be somewhat like a cube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I can either use my mouse, okay. You see? See how soft that is? And let's say I wanted to maybe make this my number three side over here on the left. What I'd probably do is go back in. Oops, sorry, wrong side. Let's go ahead and maybe um, uh, reduce the size of our brush. Okay. And when you do that, what it's going to do, it's going to make it a little stiffer. And it's going to allow you to, to get a little bit of a darker value. Now, I went down just a little too much. Let's just give it a little more softness. You see? See how I'm burning? And I'm, I'm just kind of using my mouse and just kind of coming right up to the corner, okay? And it leaves behind this nice soft edge, which is kind of nice, okay? And what it does is it gives you this nice, now, dimensional look to the shape. Now, uh, we do have our one and we have our number two and number three sides. But what we don't have is we don't have uh, reflective lighting. So what you want to do is now go ahead and right click where the uh, burn tool was and it's like the dodge tool okay you see that's got a totally different shape so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we'll come back up in here and we're going to approach it just like we did with the burn tool we'll start off soft and we can either go with a very large brush when we go with a small brush. Now remember, when you go with a bar large brush, you get a nice soft uh, approach to creating your highlights, okay? But as you move down in diameter or in size, you're gonna get a harder, much harsher uh, bit of, of highlight. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it safe and stay over on this side, but I'll keep my brush relatively soft. Okay, let's give that a go. If not, we always go back and make adjustments. But one more thing that you also want to do is to look at your exposure adjustment. Usually, uh, if you have your exposure pretty high up there, you're going to get a lot of, uh, of uh, contrast. It's, what it's going to do, it's going to really highlight that maybe a little bit faster than you'd like to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the exposure to about 25 or 30, and let's kind of go with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and, do you see where my brush is? you see the uh, cursor? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stroke it. Okay, you see how light it got? 
Look at that. Look how light it got. Okay. Now, my feeling is I can probably go with a much softer brush because it looks like it's letting out a little bit too much. So I'm going to go is so I'm going to maybe push my brush a little bit further down in softness, but increase it a little bit in size. And let's give that a go. All right. And that's looking pretty good. All right. Now I'm going to see if I can dodge this a little bit so I can get a little bit of reflective light that way and maybe a little bit this way. Okay. You see? You see how by using our burn, our darkening, and our dodge, our lightning tool, we work back and forth uh, very carefully with a soft brush, and we can now sketch uh, values and and, uh, and begin our rendering process. Okay, so my next video, what I can do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how you can make this rendering much crisper and how to kind of create details. Okay, so stay tuned.